So, I am going to be teaching you how to use all of the features I know on VMLO. So, let's get straight into it. Hi, I am Daniel. I just wanted to say that Miss Expensive Girl has the premium version, so that means she has all of the features on VLLO, but that doesn't mean you won't get anything with the free one. And sadly, the features on iOS are very different from the Android version, but other than that, let's start learning VLLO and have big brain. First of all, I'm going to tap on Create Video. Then, I'm going to just edit my intro you saw earlier and when you tap on this arrow thing it will come to this you have to always put as aspect ratio the 16 divided by 9 one and at the bottom I don't really know what this is I just go with the fill one and here we are so the first thing I do is that I adjust the volume at 400% now, I'm going to do the rough cut, you know, the basic editing people do. Let me explain to you these five buttons. When you want to trim, you just tap on from now and it will trim till this red line, okay? And when you tap on from the start, the clip pretty much is going to start again. Now we have the until now, just pretty much the from now, but it's in the opposite direction. And this till the end is like the from the start, but it's in the opposite direction. Now that I've done the rough cut, I will do the zoom in and the zoom out effect. So the normal zoom in, you just tap on the clip you want to zoom in and then you just zoom it in here. So pretty easy. Now. I'm going to teach you how to do the slow zoom ins. How you do that is you turn on partial effect and you add the diamond right there and you just do this. I am going to be teaching you how to use all of the features I know on VLLO. This is the normal way I did zoom ins, but now that there's been an update and these diamond stuff are in DLLO now, I do another way. I just put it wherever I want. So I just do this and this diamond makes it so that the zoom in will stop. I am going to be teaching you how to use all of the features I know on DLLO. You can do it on the slow zoom outs as well. Just customize it whatever you want. So since I have premium, as I've told you earlier, I can use the filter adjustment. I usually put brightness up, contrast, saturation, and a little bit of vibrance. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really know how color grading works. Now what I do is that I put my intro of the video, then I have another intro. Let me put that and I adjust the volume as well. Now I'm going to put another intro. I know, lots of intros. When I do these videos and I want to divide the clips, I put a Pinterest GIF. A few moments later. Okay, I like this one, so I just save it and I just put e text over it on what I'm going to do next. So, first of all, my fonts that I use the most are... Then, I change the style a little bit. Some tips I'm going to tell you about the text is that you can as well turn on partial setting. Yeah, so it's the same as the screen one. Enough with the text, I'm going to tell you about the stickers. So when you have the premium, you have all these stickers. But there are still some stickers you can use without the premium. It's just really, really great. Other than stickers, you can add templates. 
I think all of these templates are free which is really great and the amazing thing about them is that they're like moving now with the labels this is just other text but it has the little label what am i saying you can have all of this when you have premium but i think you have these white ones for free then we have the captions the default ones are free and the season name and all of this are not now i'm going to add background music so here for example i want to put a background music in vllo there's a lot of background music you can choose from or i just import some music so how you do that is i use tubity i do have a video on that so link in the description i'm just gonna tell you some of my music i use so I just searched cute BGM in Tubity and I have all of these tracks. Okay, so let me just put this lemon cake and I adjust the volume maybe at 4 or 1. And other like background music I use. Yeah, that's all of my background music. Now, sound effects. So, VLLO has sound effects as well. I usually use the appearance one, and I don't really use lots of these. Oh, I use the electronics one. I do have some sound effects. I am disgusted. I think those are the sound effects I mostly use. Since this is a how I edit my videos on VLLO, I have these clips where I have my phone in. Now I put a phone border. Here it is. It's a PNG I did from Magic Eraser. I just put it until the end so that all of my clips have this iPhone border around it. I change the background. There. I just deleted the clips where I explained to you some stuff but for example this is like my full video the intro I edited earlier I just save it and the last thing I do is that I put a border around it okay and then I create video again and just put the video so i usually put it like that then i change the background since i have my intro i split the intros and like the clips i want them to stay full screen i just put it as the center or fill yeah hey so since i forgot to explain to you the pip stuff i'm just going to explain to it to you now at the top that says image that means you can put an image on top of your video. The GIF, you can put a GIF on top of your video. And the video, you can put a video on top of your video. Though, the video requires premium, but the image and the GIF one doesn't. Hey, Charmy! So... I am going to be teaching you how to use all of the features I know on VLLO. So, let's get straight into it. That's it for the video. I hope I explained it well. I haven't really edited it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye!